and News Nightly for this first day of January, the Solemnity of Mary. Happy New Year. Good evening. I'm Brian Patrick. Joining us by satellite from St. Louis is Bishop Harry Jackson, senior pastor at Hope Christian Church. Bishop Jackson, you work closely with Priests for Life and other groups in the pro-life movement. How does abortion directly impact the black community? And do you think that abortion proponents actually target black communities? Well, let me start with the last part of the question first. Abortion, as it is currently being rolled out as a kind of campaign in this nation, affects blacks more than any other group because we have three times um, the percentages and the ratios of abortions among blacks than our percentage in the nation. With 13% of the population, 30 some percent of the abortions are on black babies. Abortions erase destiny. Abortions erase destiny. That is about as clear as you can be. And I think for the African American community, we survived slavery, we survived Jim Crow, but we are not surviving bad choices made by young men and women who are coming forth or growing up in broken family structures. So I believe that we're in a pandemic right now in our nation. And uh, if I were accusatory um, of our nation, I would say it's a genocidal strategy to wipe black people out. But instead, I think I need to say it's a suicidal concept and it's one of the most destructive things uh, that could be going on in the black community today. You mentioned young men and women. This is often seen as a women's issue. How does it affect men? Well, it affects men in the black community this way. 40% uh, of our young women will never be married if the trajectory of marriages and divorces continue as on the path they've been on. That means that many of the women who have babies out of wedlock in the black community, seven out of 10 or so of our kids are born to an unwed mother. These fathers, men, have chosen not to be involved in the lives of their children or in the lives really commitment-wise of the women that love them. So it's a massive nuclear family breakdown, and it's really a huge problem that should it continue, black population base is going to get smaller and smaller, economic influence, political influence, all the power and advantages that blacks have made over the years. And even though we still have all kinds of problems at the lower end of the spectrum, we also have black billionaires. All of those folks will shrink in influence if we don't fix this family problem. Bishop Jackson, the March for Life is coming up. Of course, the Catholic Church has really taken a lead role in this, but in recent years, we're being joined by many non-Catholics. How do you see the African-American participation in recent years and in the years ahead? Well, I, for one, and many of my friends around the Washington, D.C. area have been ongoing participants and encouragers uh, walking right alongside of the Roman Catholic Church. I think it represents, the pro-life movement represents a unifying uh, force and factor within the body of Christ, meaning we're learning to work together across denominational, racial, cultural boundaries by coming out being pro-life. And I believe that we've got to increase our efforts. And uh, I've spoken at events uh, almost every year uh, for this great event. I will be there this coming year. And uh, I believe it really is a highlight that the press doesn't really think about or talk about in D.C. They don't say several hundred thousand people came to Washington, D.C. to demonstrate and declare peacefully that abortion in this land is not the way to go. And you rarely hear that kind of uh, 
accolade or that kind of acknowledgement being given to those who come all the way to D.C. to let their voices be heard. Well, we will cover that here at EWTN News Nightly. We look forward to seeing you at the March for Life. Bishop Harry Jackson, Senior Pastor, Hope Christian Church, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for